all right nba community welcome back to another video and i gotta talk to the bosses the toronto raptors are focusing on bringing in jj reddit as a head coach does somebody need to be drug tested or is it me what are we talking about here now i like jj reddit i like his perspective you know what i'm saying i see him on first take going back and forth with Stephen a you know what i'm saying for the tv it looks all good but we are talking about a head coaching job in the national basketball association what i didn't know is that jj reddick the uh, boston celtics had actually previously targeted him as an assistant coach now i don't want to hate on jj reddick i think if he was to become the coach of the raptors you know, he will bring a special, uh, I think, uh, element by him being a, a former player, a, a great player, a great shooter. But that's the curse. He's, he would already be he would already be a better shooter than everybody else on his team. I mean, and, and if he becomes the head coach of Toronto, look at all the obstacles he's going to have to deal with initially. I mean, you got Masai. He, he rather signed Fred, uh, Fred Van Vliet for over $100 million than just to let him walk. And save some cap space so you can actually build a team. Siaka more than likely is going to be demanding a trade next season. And then, you know, GTJ, he's gone. And, you know, he's going to probably thrive with another team. And the Raptors still don't have any type of bench with no money. So, you know, J.J. Reddick, if he was to get this opportunity, you know, it kind of reminds me of the Steve Nash opportunity in Brooklyn. No coaching experience and then becoming the head coach. But, I mean, he... He, what does he have to look forward to in Toronto other than the opportunity? But if it's real, I think they interviewed him. If it's real, you can't pass up on it, on the whole what if thing. So if, if he get it or if they offer it to him, you know what I mean? I think he should take it. But I'm kind of blown away that they are really looking to have him as their next head coach after parting ways with Nick Nurse. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to talk to the bosses. I thought Nick, Nick Nurse won the championship in 2019 for this team. So to come off of that and, and be really interested in the bringing in J.J. Reddick, based off of what? Like how he gets it popping with Stephen A. Smith? I mean, he's a, he has he's great basketball knowledge. Don't get it twisted. But again, he has no coaching experience or no professional level to the best of my knowledge. And I just think it'll be a very uphill battle to climb for him to have any success, at least early, in Toronto. But if they offer it, JJ, go get yours. Go get yours, baby. You all already know the vibes. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the Toronto Raptors actually interviewing and focusing on JJ Reddick being their next head coach. Y'all know what this is. This is the best of seven sports talk. I'm Seven Mitchell. Smash that like button if you guys are new to the channel. Subscribe to the platform. Y'all already know. Big up always to the NBA community. Y'all stay safe. Peace.